It's been said that when making a film, a story is told three times, once when it's written, once again on set when the film is shot, and yet again when it is edited. Folks, we finally get to move into the post-production section of these courses, and we're going to start here with editing. The act of telling the best story in the best way using the elements shot during production. Editors are almost like the gatekeepers of the film once it leaves production. They really help the director shape the feel of the film and often have direct input about the music and other post-production processes. And on smaller films, editors might take on multiple roles, like actually doing the color, the sound design, animated titles, or maybe even the visual effects. In this course, we'll come to understand that there's a kind of magic that's created when two clips are edited together. This concept was first developed by Russian filmmaker Lev Kuleshov in the beginning of the 20th century. He created an experiment that is now lost, but has been recreated by countless people, including Alfred Hitchcock himself. In his version of Kuleshov's experiment, Hitchcock showed footage of himself, then showed a clip of a family, then cut back to Hitchcock smiling. So we think he's a sweet stand-up guy smiling at the family. But then he used the same footage of himself and he swapped out the footage of the family with a woman in a swimsuit. Now his smile doesn't seem so sweet. And here's the lesson. The footage of him did not change. But because of the context of the footage around it, the meaning was completely changed. He seemed like a completely different character just because the context of the edit. And this is the power of video editing. Folks, I am so excited for what we've got cooking up for you in this training series. We're going to look at the history and evolution of the language of film editing. We'll cover the technical aspects of offloading your media, organizing your footage, and getting ready to edit. We'll look at how to polish your edit and some lesser known principles of editing, such as controlling the tone and the pacing, editing dialogue, making more invisible and elegant edits, and using the focal point. We'll look at huge mistakes in editing and continuity in big Academy Award winning blockbusters and why you probably didn't notice them. We'll also dig into the edit of the assurance. We'll look at our original rough cut and all of its, you know... <laughs> roughness. And we'll talk about how we are rearranged elements and change things in order to tell a much better story overall. And we'll wrap up this course by looking at how to work with other members of a post-production team, colorists, composers, sound designers, and visual effects artists. Now I'm going to assume that you have a little bit of experience doing some video editing in the software of your choice. It doesn't matter what you use. For this course, I'm going to be using Adobe Premiere and I might give you some little tips and tricks here and there in Premiere, but I'm not going to be digging into the software very much. This course is all about the art of editing and it's not a software-based course or a Premiere course at all. If you've never used a video editing application before at all in any way, then you might want to first check out some of the great courses here on LinkedIn Learning to get up to speed. But if you have even a basic working knowledge at all, you'll be able to keep up and be just fine in this course. You know, editing is kind of an underappreciated art. When there are mistakes, the editor can get blamed. When a film is a success, the director usually is the one that gets all the credit. So it's really hard to know what the editor actually did and what they had to work with initially. But editing is an art form nonetheless, a beautiful art form. Ah, oh, this course is going to be such a blast. So let's jump in and get started.